Alright guys, we are back with some more Risk of Rain. So, I did get that whole first part uh, nice and uh, edited and rendered and everything like that. So, we can continue on with this run. Uh, can't really remember what part this is, <laughs> but uh, welcome back. <laughs> so, I just noticed when I was editing the video that there is no mute sound or music. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is where you unlock Handy. You just press open the door, and then there's Handy. We, of course, will be doing Handy in some upcoming episode, in a, up in a upcoming episode. But for right now, uh, we're just going to continue on with our, you know, a little grand adventure, of playing as other character, as all the characters, you know, until we unlock the Huntress eventually. But uh, this run wasn't a complete failure. We did unlock um, the Alien Head, which is a really great item. I think it reduces all cooldowns on your move by 25%. It is a Tier 3 item. So uh, that's really great. I'm glad that I unlocked it. And uh, you know I'm happy to have it in my arsenal of uh, potential items in a run. So uh, we are here at the final level, the true risk of rain. And I just took a shit ton of damage because for some reason I couldn't move. I was like stuck. And uh, we were waiting for the, the time to go by, and we will just run on to the boss. The boss will probably kick my butt real quick, uh, make me its bitch, and my drones its bitch, because he does so much damage. And, uh, and then that will probably be the end of the run, because I'm probably going to die there. Uh, but, you know, might as well try, right? Yeah, you can already see that one of my drones has already messed up. I think it's my healing drone to tell you. to Yeah, it's my healing drone that got all messed up, because it's at the front of the pack. You see all my other drones there? behind me, but this one decided to be the odd man out and be like, oh, I want to be in front. Like, yeah, sure. Go ahead, be in front. And get killed. No one cares. No one loves you. <laughs> so, we're going to obviously run away right now, because we are not about that life. We're going to actually come down here. Uh, we got one key card, and since we got one key card, I'm going to use the one key card to go ahead and put the healer in the boss room, because why not? It heals me. And my it might be the difference between living and dying in this boss fight, so we might as well, you know, get our heal on. So we're gonna go ahead and just teleport this to the boss room. And uh by then our thirty seconds should be up and we can just uh go ahead and walk to the boss room. All the enemies here will despawn, so that's good. We won't have to fight them. I'm getting some frame drops as you can see. There's a lot of shit going on the screen. You can see our frames at the bottom of the screen right there on the right. As you can see we're at 50, 47, 46. So we're supposed to be at 60 frames per second, but as you can tell, the slowdown is definitely hurting. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just jump our way to uh, the boss room. We're not going to bother fighting none of these enemies. They're not worth our time. Uh, as soon as we hit the boss fight button, they will despawn. So yep. And I believe that we lost our healing drone, so it died. Oh well. I really don't care. <laughs> and bam. All the enemies are gone. Oh, and it dropped and it dropped uh, an item because it was an elite and technically it did get killed. So as you can see, we are fighting Providence again, and he has a butt ton of HP, just like usual. That's not a surprise. And I do not believe that you can actually shield block Providence. Actually, I think you might I think you can. I think you can kind of derp him. As you can see, I'm kind of just, you know, darping him up a bit, walking back, if you can, and that, that's good. I mean, at this point, the drums are probably going to die anyway. Okay, can't block that. Can't block that. Probably can't block that either. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, I was like, nah, you probably can't block that either. As you can see, he is picking off our drones one by one. That's not a surprise. Uh, I, pro I, I, pro I knew that he was probably going to be doing that. <laughs> Alright, so he is done out of his invincibility, invincib invincibility stage, and we kind of just, you know, walk back with it, like we usually do. Just walk back with it, and run away again, <laughs> because that move will definitely kill us. So we only got two more drones left, about to be one, as soon as he slashes his sword a couple more times. Step back. Shoot him up a bit. He's already at halfway. But there, literally, there goes my DPS. Like, all of the drones are dead. All of them are dead. There is nothing protecting me. There is nothing taking uh, Providence's bait or attention. It is literally just me versus Providence. No more drones. So, literally, this fight might take a living hell of a long because of that. So, 
That's good, right? No more drones? We don't need them. We don't need them. It's not like they were helping me fight this boss or anything like that or, you know, increasing my DPS so I'd be able to, you know, have an easier time fighting this boss or anything. Nope, nope, nope. We are, we are, we are going to do great. We are going to live. We are going to beat this boss. He is going to become our bitch. It's just going to be great. You guys are know I'm being sarcastic and we're probably going to die. We might be Providence, but beating the worms might be difficult and definitely the final boss will be difficult and it's going to take a millennium so I'm not sure how many parts this, this even the final boss will be to tell you the truth because this is going to take a cool minute it's, like I said this character doesn't have the best DPS so for him to be fighting uh, this boss with all this HP I mean 82,000 HP is a lot 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 <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and derp him up a little bit. It doesn't look like my shield is taking... I, I think his swing is so big that he can actually swing behind my shield. And that's why that's where I think I'm taking damage from. Like if I could back up a little bit more, farther than his swing, then I would block it all. But apparently I wasn't. So, oh, and it's time to get out of here. <laughs> uh, I mean... If we can beat Providence, that'd be great. You know, I totally, I'd be like, "Wow, that's amazing!" Didn't expect that. Totally didn't. I don't, I don't expect to win this fight. This, well, this fight between me and him, just right now, one on one, I can beat him. When it comes to magma, the, the, not the magma worms, the gilded worms. Uh, yeah. When it comes to Providence final form with his shadow clone, no, <laughs> definitely not. That, that is, that is where. That is where it's ju it's gonna be GG. Scoop it up, <laughs> definitely. So at least this is less uh, pressure on my Camtasia. Oh, he hit me, took damage. So therefore, I did do the old box. He got scared away. So we we're taking a lot of damage. Saving my fruit. Saving my fruit. I don't want to use it yet. As you can see, he hit me again. Scared him away again. Uh, he's close to dying. Like I said, I'd say this run was pretty successful. I wouldn't say it was a failure. I'm glad that you guys got to watch this run. That this run went as well as it did. Keep taking damage. I need to get my... Uh... Oh, he died. Alright, Gilded Worms with 114,000 HP. This is going to be great. <laughs> no, it's not. This is going to take living forever. Flipping forever. Hop out of the way, shoot all the gilded worms, kill them. I'm I'm tangled to one of them, apparently. Watch out for the laser, definitely. The laser it is hurts the most. The other attack hurts too, but the laser is what is what does the real damage because it just there's no iframes in this game, like I said. So the laser can continuously hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you, and you just take all this damage and die. So. Watch out for that red laser guy. Watch out for the laser guy. The blue guy, he's just going to do his thing. Like, there's there's a really slim chance that you're going to be able to dodge his attack, so you might as well just accept it. He doesn't do as much damage, so. And we're actually doing the Gilded Worms pretty fast, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's because probably the multi-hits that I can do. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that was the laser. I couldn't see it because for some odd reason they decided to put the laser behind the worm animation, though if the worm is literally on top of the laser, you can't tell where the laser is. It's actually one of the st stupidest things about this boss fight. Is that the the worm goes over the an laser animation, but we're doing fine. We're doing fine. We're back at full health. Like I said, we have great healing. Uh, the monster tooth aren't going to do as much anymore because, of course, you know, we got to kill an enemy to get that monster tooth heal, but we're fighting bosses, so the chances of us killing some enemies or some of unless they change it so uh, the boss spawns a whole bunch of enemies and you can kill them easily, then nah. But I must say the Monster Tooth did help us, did carry us through the good majority of this run. This run went much longer than I was anticipating it to be, so I'm happy with it.